Hey guys, so today we're going to be making Father's Day cards. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get this up before Father's Day. So you're going to need a texture of some sort, um, a pencil for tracing around your child's hand, some scissors, some coloured paper or some paper that you or your child have painted, and then I'm just using this um, to lean on because we are in the spare room at the moment. So I'm just using this little box to lean on. So first we're going to go ahead and pick the colours that we want. So you want to pick um, two colours. So we're going to go ahead with green. green. So now we're going to go ahead and trace... Trace Mia's hand onto um, a piece of paper. Make sure that your child's hand. Oh. <clears throat> Why? Make sure their hand is like really out wide. So as wide as you can get them to um, do it, and then we'll be back. Make sure you do both hands. So then we'll be. Okay, so now we have Mia's two handprints. What I'm going to go ahead and do because I am making two is I'm just going to put this one on the back of here and then cut it out so that I don't have to worry about tracing her hand a number of times and then um, same with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. So here we have the first two hands cut out. So you can have them this way or you can have them this way. I'm This one was the right hand so I'm going to turn it over and make it a left hand because it has the um, like the pencil marks on it so I'm going to turn it over and make it the other hand and then yeah so like you put your two hands together kind of thing if you know what I mean so they have to be matching like that and then of course just hang on there um, these two are going to do the same thing so we've got our hands and now we're going to do the middle part for our hands. So grab another piece of paper, whatever color you want and cut it in half and then in half again. All right, so we've got our two pieces of paper. Remember I'm making two cards. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And then fold it in half one last time. What's this? Yeah. So now that you've got that, you want to like turn it into like a weave. So now that you've got your shape, you want to like make them opposite folds if that makes any sense. So then when you open it, it opens like this. So that is what we're doing. What you're going to want to do is grab the front, um, the front hand and write I love you. So that is what we're going to do for the red and the orange. So I hope you guys can see that. I've written, I've written I love you on both of the hands. Now we're going to go ahead and on these ones, write this much. Now, be careful when you're doing it because remember that one piece is going to stick onto the hand, so you have to use the other corresponding letters. So what I'm going to do is use this whole piece. I'm not going to do one letter per square because I don't want this piece to have any or this piece because they're the bits that are going to be sticking onto the hand. So, but I mean, if you if your paper's long enough, go ahead. If not, then yeah, just deal with it like that. So now I have this much written on both of my pieces of paper. I'm going to go ahead and glue this part and this part to the hand. So when you open it, it'll look like this when you have given it to the person. And when you open it up, it'll look like this. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do and I'll see you guys in a second. Yep. 
Okay, so this is what the finished product will look like. I've got the I love you hand. Open it up, it says this much, and then it just folds back down. And same again with the orange one. So I hope you guys enjoy this. You can put a little message on the back, just happy Father's Day or whatever. Um, even happy birthday, <clears throat> Mother's Day, anything. So let me know if you guys enjoy this. I did find the picture on Pinterest somewhere. Um, so yeah, let me know how you guys like it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.